Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. You doing live with it? No. Don't do live. Let's, Come on, live. let's just keep it real. That's okay forever now. We'll do live. We'll do live. We have a very special guest tonight, writer, director, actor, man, if you haven't seen Gook, watch it, okay, Justin Chun, how you doing, okay, was that weird? No, that was awesome. Okay. That's man, I can't believe you. I'm a little nervous. No, why? I'm a little nervous. Oh, man, see, I should be talking to you. Yeah, yeah. This guy, have you seen Twilight? <laughs> he was in Twilight, dude. I was. He was Eric Yorkie. I was. Dude, props on that. I saw it on the big screen. <laughs> and I was like, it made me proud, dude. Oh, I'm like, oh, you. there's an Asian guy right there. Yeah, thank you. What, what was that? Like, what was that process like? like that was uh that was chill. Um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I didn't, I had no idea it was going to, it was going to be like that. You know, I thought it was just going to be like. What do you mean? It blew, it was the biggest thing in the world. Yeah. But you know, when, when, when we were filming, I had no, we had no idea at all. You had no idea it was going to blow up globally and be the biggest thing ever. Not at all. Zero. Wow. Zero idea. What was that auditioning process like uh, for that? I I was always curious. I'm like, did this guy. So for that. Um, it was like, um, they made us audition like six or seven times, man. You? Because it was during the writer's strike. The, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah so what was, year was that again? It was like 2006 or seven. Wow. But it was during the writer's strike. So yeah. they, they made us do a bunch of improv auditions because uh, in the case that the writer's striked, they wanted to make sure if they wouldn't be able to rewrite anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So were you was it they were were they looking for an Asian guy or an ethnic guy? No, so in the book he's described with like greasy black hair with like pimples and shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have pimples, but yeah. I had I had greasy black hair. Yeah. Um so but the, the, yeah, it was longer. Yeah, yeah, it was longer. Yeah, it was long. But uh yeah, the, the ethnicity <laughs> wasn't like specific and um I yeah, they just like they just let me so let me on. Yeah. So there was like seven callbacks. There was a lot of callbacks, man. Were you was tripping like, like, oh god? Yeah, I was like, what again? the fuck, man? Yeah. So like every time you went back, was there other dudes that were you were competing against? Like, yeah. Like you would see them in the waiting room. Yeah. Right? So what, what's that over. feeling like? Because my brother's, he's. I've heard some of his stories. Yeah. Like, oh man, it's so and so was there. It's stupid because it's just like. I don't know why you would do that because you're not going to get the best like audition from somebody. But then yeah. at the same time, it's like maybe they do that on purpose because if you can handle Who's they? Who's they? the casting or the producers or, yeah. or the studio or whatever, because if you can handle that pressure, they know you can handle the set. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why yeah. they do that, but I think it's stupid. So what's the, pro- yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. what's the process must be frustrating. Like you go there, it's, yeah. um, you have to sign your name in the, th- on yeah, the, you sign your name in yeah, the, yeah. the Cause a lot of sheet. people don't know. They just see yeah. the end product. Oh, this guy's on the screen, but yeah. they don't know what, it, like the process of, so you sign in, what else? And, and then you, uh, you sit there and then you're in a room with other like people either auditioning for your role or some other role. Mm. And then you're just like waiting for your turn and it's really awkward because a lot of times the door is like right there and you can hear other people auditioning and then you're just you're just listening and you're like fuck guys because oh, really- if they're laughing they're doing good. yeah <laughs> so you're like hearing them laugh. like, oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you can hear them you're just like oh man that guy's like or you can actually hear them like acting and you're like oh shit he's really good wow. and it psychs you out so yeah. what what um 
because I'm sure there's people that will watch us, you know, because uh, your name, and they'll be like, they're aspiring actors and or actresses mm-hmm. themselves. Yeah. Do you got any like tips for like what would you t- tell a young person trying to 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 do this do this as a profession? It's it's hard to to begin with, right? Yeah. The competition. Yeah, I think it's like hard to to get like a foundation going, and mm-hmm. I think the biggest thing though is like learn how to act go to like school like so go to, you like, went to acting school yeah wow. yeah but i think that's important because you know people might be like dude i have a good look bro and then some uh, people are lucky like that but like they won't they won't get the real roles and they won't go far because it's like at a certain point that'll take you so far but you you need to be able to to uh you know interpret dialogue and all that stuff wow. so yeah. where are you from are you from la dude no i'm from orange county you are? Yeah. Yeah, I was and you're born. Korean, dude? My yeah. Korean brother yeah, right here? Korean. You make us all proud, yeah. you know, Thank when we you. see you on the screen. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I want to get into Gook because we yeah. are going to talk about Gook. Sure, sure. Um, And they just saw it. Mm. You just saw yeah, it? I just saw it today. Sweet. Well, thanks for you seeing s- it, at least. You said there weren't enough Mexican people in there. Yeah. <laughs> dude, they jumped. <laughs> are you, there's a gang of Mexicans that jumped. <laughs> <laughs> They jumped you guys. But I don't want to, you know, yeah. spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So you're from Orange County. I'm from Orange then, County. Then what? Like, so you grew up in the 80s? Yeah, I was born in, eight, I was born in 81. 81. Yeah. And then so what made you, what what inspired you? Like, what movies inspired you, like, to, to plant the seed? Like, oh, I want to do that. Growing up, I don't think there were any. Like in the there, 80s? Well, well, Asian. There's not a lot of Asians. Yeah, there was like none. Let, let's go down the, the list. The uh, five. Yeah, during pa- uh, the- Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, Pat Morita. Uh, Long Duck Dong. Long Duck Dong. A little bit uh, of Data. And uh, Data. Short Round from the Goonies. Dude, that was like I'm the sure bane. I'm Short Round from Temple of Doom. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah, a bane yeah. of my existence. Yeah. Because I was young and like everybody- Oh, oh at school. Yeah, they were like- sh- They kept, they kept making the, me I, say the-, the uh, They kept making me say- Dr. Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! <laughs> Dr. Jones! <laughs> Or uh, or uh, the booby trap from yeah, Goonies. Yeah. Oh shit, man! I got that in college. Yeah, <laughs> at the dorm. They're Damn. like, "Hey, dog! Oh, you look like that little guy." Oh my god, man! Yeah. yeah. So that was good that, for guys yeah. like us. No, I got it. Like, yeah, all through childhood. Yeah. So we only named three, right? Yeah. George, we only named three. Yeah. Oh, George Decay. Deca- Decay. Uh, yeah. Deca- yeah. Um, Zulu, yeah. From Star Trek. Zulu. Yeah. yeah Zulu. Um. Back Close. then, now there's more. Now there's more. This is pre, you know. Yeah, this is pre. Show. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Not a lot. No. What is up with Hollywood? Like that stereotypical casting type stuff. It's gotten better, dude. You know what I mean? It's gotten better. A viewer of this stuff, I noticed that yeah. they're kind of pigeonholed into. You got to either be the kung fu dude. Yeah. The funny dude. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> the only two dudes. Yeah, man. What are you laughing at, George? <laughs> you like that? Oh, he no, likes just, that. You he see likes that? It. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's all you're good for. <laughs> the white guy is always just a perv who's trying to hit on Indian girls and sleep with them. What? The every f- Bollywood set, every Bollywood movie that has a white guy in it. Who's talking about Bollywood? I'm just, I'm just bringing, Why? Are, what, you're bringing up Bollywood? I'm just saying around the oh, world. On the Stevie Weezy show. show. You know, I tell, I remember the the one experience I've had being the outsider. <laughs> I want to see an Asian be like like a Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's absolutely. on the Titanic. And yeah. The girl's like, I save. You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. Wow. But you guys are you and a Yoon and a couple other. Uh-huh. You guys are like changing that. We're trying to. We're trying to get in there, but because you your character was bad ass in Gook, dude. But see, that's the thing is like that's why <sighs> that I was bad ass, dude. I gotta, dude. I gotta give you a for that. that Thank was, you. That was bad ass. But, I related to it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, not only being Korean, yeah. but my mom and dad had a, a clothing store. They uh, owned the fashion gals. Uh-huh. You know, like the retail clothing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They went through, you know. All that shit. It was a, it was a shoe store in, yeah. in, your, in the script yeah. uh, with your story. But, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, did you come up with that story, dude? Yeah. So, like, but, but you know, the truth of it is, is uh, uh, my family, we got looted during the riots. For real? Yeah, we got looted. What? Yeah, we had really? a yeah we had a business. Uh, we had a we had a uh, like a shoe store. We had a shoe store, but it was a wholesale warehouse, oh. and we got looted uh, the last day of the riots. And their warehouse was like on the board. It was in Paramount, but right across the the bridge, uh, seven ten bridge from Compton. So uh, you know the areas that we shot was actually like 
you know, Compton, Gardena, yeah, um, South, South, Central, yeah, 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 South yeah, Bay, yeah, 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 in the South yeah, yeah. Bay. But um, yeah, we got looted. Wow. Yeah. So you you took from a real like life event because mm -hmm. wow, so it's based on real stuff that you went through. Yeah, and then you know what the the crazy shit that people don't know about the film is that Mr. Kim, you know the the, the liquor store yeah, yeah, owner, across the street. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my real dad. Yeah. <laughs> That's your real. That's my dad? real dad. Yeah, the actor that plays. Yeah, yeah, he was that's great. him. Yeah, yeah. So my dad was an actor <clears throat> in Korea. Really? In Where's South he Korea. from? Like Busan? No, it's Seoul. 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 Yeah, yeah, my folks too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was uh, he in the army. Like back yeah, then? yeah, yeah. He went to. He was in the yeah, Marines. Yeah, 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 all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so yeah, you know, um, mm -hmm. that was my dad, and it was like uh, the reason I made it was because. You know, like there were some other LA Wrights films being made, and I was like, okay, no one's gonna tell it from like the Korean perspective. We, we no got, one. We got super fucked like during that time, dude. There's Koreans yeah. with AKs on the top of their stores. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I felt like, okay, if I don't even tell my like smaller version, it's our told, perspective, yeah, yeah. yeah, is not gonna yeah, it's is not, not gonna exist. Told. Yeah. How long did it take you to write the script? So I outlined uh, for about three or four months. And then I, uh, the first draft was about like uh, a month. But then, then it was uh, about like seven drafts before we before we filmed. Wow! Yeah, I loved it. So you know what I noticed about this guy? Once we talk about start talking about the Korean stuff, uh -huh. he like zones out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm texting the girl. The, the Korean. The, the way. Hold on, man. <laughs> the Korean topics ain't good. God damn it, George! <laughs> God. <laughs> Fucking damn it! I'm texting your girlfriend so she doesn't interrupt the show, but even texting interrupted the show. <laughs> <laughs> you leave this guy. Dude, respect the Koreans, you know? They've been here. Oh, you know what? I had an idea. I mean, are you still writing uh, maybe a gook part two? Dude, let me hear it. Well, well, not that story, but mm -hmm. I heard that. My brother was talking about that, but the reason Koreatown they had like they, they, there was a battle going on mm. in order for Koreatown to exist. Oh yeah, recently. Yeah, like yeah. on some like like in his throughout history. Oh, through his history. Did you, did you hear about the recent one with uh, <laughs> it was uh, uh, the little Bangladesh? They wanted like all the way down to like half of Koreatown. Like they just wow. voted on it. Like that's crazy. Like last week. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. But I was thinking you could like cast like dumbfounded to be like you know yeah. what I mean like he's a, like yeah. he's in it. But you know the truth. You know what the truth is? Koreatown is not really Koreatown. It's actually Mexico. It's right. it's it's like it's it's the people actually live on all those streets. You know what she said. That, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah. you know because I'm uh, somewhat following the World Cup. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And oh, were you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's stung a little. It's stung. You, you guys have a good team. It's stung a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we lost. We oh, lost to Mexico. Did, yeah, Chicharito's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, but in our defense, we have one player. Yeah. Son. Yeah. <laughs> so son from uh, Tottenham Hotspurs, you did your thing, but it's a team sport. You can't just run up the field with the, you know by yourself like you're like Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. There's it's a team sport. Exactly. You have to have midfielders <laughs> to keep yeah. feeding you the ball. Yeah. Oh no, we have Key uh, from uh, Swansea. So those guys are good. Yeah, and but then the, that's it. But, and our goalkeeper was was good. Was yeah, he saying uh, he kept a yeah. lot out. Okay, we got to do a. Um, just okay, to, we have okay. to do a um okay we have a new sponsor man this is a great album man one of my favorites um so we have a new sponsor turntable lab okay turntable lab shout out to turntable lab my homie mestizo used to work there shout out to mestizo stevie uh turntable lab hello friends we have a brand new sponsor to the show and i love this one because you know how much i love vinyl i have vinyl right there mm. Um, Turntable Lab, okay? They gave me this Built to Spill. This is a great album, man. This is from the 90s. Mm. My favorite songs on this album is Time Trap and Else. Yeah, Else and Time Trap, yeah. These, does, have you heard this album, George? Oh, yeah. It's a damn good album, yeah. okay? Sorry, am I, am I messing up the script here? Look up to the website. Okay, I have to look at the website. So I already have it triggered here. So Turntable Lab, they got, whoa, they have, let me see, they got, so they sell turntables, right? Yep. So you can get portable turntables. What? They have turntables, cartridges. 
What else? You could get headphones. Yeah, you could get um what else? Adapters, stands, displays, furniture. There's all kinds of stuff you could get. You want to go to DJ Production? Look at this stuff, man. Oh man, let them know if they can get a discount on that stuff. Uh well, they got a bunch of stuff. They have gear. Oh, you know what? They got I just went to a beat night and they had this thing there. This machine here. Dude, it's crazy. He was hitting it like a video game, but I couldn't follow his fingers. He was like, you know, like which, he was, uh, they, I don't know what it's called. The Mixars Quattro Serato Mixer. So it's a Serato. Have you seen these machines? Uh, yeah. They light up different colors and stuff. Oh, I have seen those. Uh, for 10% off all your tur table and vinyl needs, as the pro use the promo code Stevie. That's turntable.com slash Stevie, turntable. No, it says right oh, here. Well, I wrote it wrong. Turntable oh, turntable lab. lab. Sorry, it was at the end. So <laughs> turntablelab dot com slash Stevie, Stevie, with the B, not V. Okay. Yep. Get your turntables and vinyl at turntable lab. Now back to the show. Was that good Sweet, enough? I mean, yeah. do we need to show more? Uh, link in the description. SD link in the description. And they have vinyl too. You could buy vinyl. You could buy gear, headphones, turntables, all kinds of stuff. Let's go back to a. Let's go back to your story, man. Sure. Are you are you, are you having a good time? I mean, this is yeah. Chill, this right? is dope. Yeah. Because your homie David David So. Yeah. Yeah. So boy. How did you guys? You guys linked up on like? Did you have in, him in mind as? To yeah. Cast him as yeah. Your brother? So like yeah. Um. Um. You know, I wanted to do something with him. We had some like really he was amazing. Yeah. He was amazing. In it. We had a lot of stupid ideas before. Like yeah. I had settled on that, but, but, uh, yeah, I love, I love, uh, I love, you know, David. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. He's and a he's, a, he's yeah, a good, good dude. Shout out to David. Um, so David, yeah. I love and, you, um, JK news. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I wrote the part for him. He was so great. that's why I knew he could sing. That's why he sang the R and B and the that, that was yeah. my favorite scene. One of my favorite scenes <laughs> yeah, in the book. Yeah. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. Watch the movie, dude. Yeah. Gook. G O O K. Let's break down that word for them though. Yes, A lot of yes, these yes. people don't know because yeah. people think gook is like Chinese person, mm. Japanese person, yeah. or Korean person. But gook is not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mi gook. Yeah, mi gook. So during the Korean War mm. The Koreans would go, oh, you go, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at the Korean, yeah. I mean, look at the American soldier yeah. guy. Yeah. And they, they, they walk by and go, they cut the end. Gook, you're the gook, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gook, you know? Right? Yeah. And so that's how yeah. the word came, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. how it started. But you know, what's crazy is like, what's crazy is uh, <clears throat> me gook, if you break it down, it actually means beautiful country. So it's even worse, it's worse because we're calling them like the people from the beautiful country yeah. and they're, and they're like, they turned around and use that word against us. They're like, you gook. Yeah. Yeah. You're the gook. <laughs> I'm not the gook. You're the fucking gook. Look at him. He yeah. loves it. Why, why, does, why does that make you smile? Yeah. That made you smile? <laughs> <laughs> that made you smile? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying Son to the, the sentiments of the guest. You know, just laughing, I'm laughing, you know? <laughs> Dude, yeah. I like this because it's good. Because yeah. what made you? I love the title because it's like. Mm. Well, so why'd you decide on that title? Because it's, you know it's it's about like it's about your family. Yeah, yeah, and it's about race relations mm -hmm. during the early '90s, mm -hmm. and also it's like I think film when it's done really well, also like you learn something, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. about something about people or mm -hmm. or subjects you don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. Dude, I learned how to be a, an American through. Like films and television, You're like you the know? Godfather, yeah, I mean, so the, like the hits, yeah, yeah because yeah. you know, Good like our, our parents didn't teach us shit, you know, yeah, so like we're yeah. like we have to figure it out on our own, yeah. So you know, titling a gook, I just wanted people to like at first have an adverse reaction, but then through the movie, they actually under they learn what it actually means, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's, dude, I, I dude, it, I got it. I got teared up at certain mm. scenes, you know. Thank you. Um, the dynamic with you and David, your brother, because he plays your brother, mm. is like it. It was so because I have an older brother, you yeah. know, 
and it was really believable. Mm. Like I felt, I like it was so believable. Like because it was just you two in the crib, you yeah, know? yeah. And, and the, the vibe I got was like, oh, these guys are like, you could tell like the tension throughout yeah. the whole movie and yeah. the frustration on you, you know, your yeah. character. Yeah. You were frustrated. Yeah. Like, God dang. Because yeah. you could tell your character, you didn't want to no, keep yeah. the store open, the, yeah. the shoe store. But it's kind of like the Korean thing to do, which yeah. I it was believable. The Korean thing to do, yeah, is like obligation like mm. i'm obligated to even though your parents are around yeah yeah like there's absolutely. a one scene that uh so there's spoilers but watch the movie but when you're sitting in the car and mm. uh, you break out some photo you're you're smoking a cigarette oh yeah yeah dude that was a good scene. <laughs> that was a good scene dude uh, thank that you. was good man thank you so was that one take or that was a f a few i think that was like a, you know we had an insert on the the photo and then we had a shot from the side um, I, you know, I smoked cigarettes for like a long time, but Me like too, after dude. that, after that film, I stopped because I, I smoked like oh, three, on, on set. Yeah. I smoked like three packs a day because it was like, I'm Ticket. smoking all the time in the film. Yeah. And then, you know, with filming, it's not just like <sighs> one take, you're doing a lot of takes. So I was fucking smoking. Your lungs were hurting, huh? Yeah, I was. Like, what were you smoking? Lights or? Uh, I was smoking, um, yeah. Parliament lights. Yeah. 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 Wow. Dude. How did you find the the the, um, the, the girl? girl? Yeah, she was amazing, dude. So at first we, uh, what's her name? Simone Baker. Simone Baker. Yeah, yeah. we uh, we we tried to audition some like legit ass young actresses, and they all were like acting like they were selling Colgate like toothpaste like commercials. Yeah, and I was like, this is not gonna work. So we start calling all the black churches in the neighborhood yeah. in the area, and then. And then uh, we found Simone at a community arts and uh, art center in South Central. Car yeah, Lemur, yeah, yeah, Lemur yeah. Art. Lemur uh, Park, uh, yeah. No, no, uh, Fernando Pullum Art Center. Okay, okay. And they opened their center to us. Uh, they had like a summer art camp. Oh. And so we went and we talked to the kids. So was, it wasn't even a casting call. No, I just went and found this girl. You discovered her? Yeah, I just straight up found her. Wow. Yeah. Like, how did you know? Like, how many girls were there? I don't know that that many. It was a community art center. It was yeah. like maybe like 40 kids or something. Yeah. What stood out about Simone that 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 like kind of like So Fernando, the guy the, the guy who who runs a place and owns it, like uh he was like, "Hey, meet so and he just was introducing me to some people. And then um and then eventually like uh Simone came around and and he like was like, "Hey, she's a really great singer." So she sang for us and I was like, "Oh shit, this this girl has like something really special about yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, um, and then we just like, I just had some conversation with her and then, and then we had her do some improvs. Oh. And I was like, like at church, the church? Yeah, at, at, the, the, at, the, at the center. Uh, yeah. At the center. And she just fucking destroyed it. You know, I was like, was it just you or did you have a whole crew with no, you? No, it was just me. I mean, I'm, you know, I didn't want to make the, the kids nervous oh, and shit. Oh, you want to be natural. Yeah. You want to yeah, yeah. the natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you, you singled her out like, hey, someone can you come over? So we did the next day I came back or like a few days later I came back. We did like an audition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, anyone who's interested, like, you know, brought uh, like, you know, took the, the, the thing, the, the sides and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I saw all the girls that, you know, but I knew from the very beginning that someone was really special. And then yeah. and then we um, when she came in. This you is know, the first hard, This is her yeah, first yeah, yeah. And then when she came in, we just did the lines, uh, and then I, I always kind of go, okay, you know what? And I set up like a scenario, mm -hmm. and then you know I had her do it, and she, um, she nailed it. Oh, dude, she killed it. Do you remember what the scenario? I'm just curious what the scenario. Um, was. I think it was like, I think it had to do with uh her. I think it was like improving her, convincing <laughs> her, convincing me to to let her stay. Oh, at the store because that scene actually happened yeah but um it was like uh improv i was like what would you do you know oh. um but what's crazy is did her, she cry or something not in the audition oh okay. but um w what was crazy is that she in real life is very like girly like really really mm -hmm. girly like her favorite color is pink she doesn't know how to skate or any of that stuff and yeah. like i uh it was surprised because you know out through the we did about a month of rehearsal wow. and as it started going along she like really embodied like that tomboy aspect yeah, of character. yeah 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 i got the yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, that was a good find dude she yeah was, yeah i know she was perfect for that role. i know yeah so yeah. you knew right away they were like okay that's that's it oh yeah, yeah. she's like yeah 
I thought uh, there was another side of me. I thought she was like maybe a Nickelodeon kid. Yeah. <laughs> no, I found her. Yeah, you found her. Yeah, straight up in South Central. Wow. Yeah, I open quick. Well, what's going on? Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Hey, I'm back to the interview. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> it's Ailani. Hey, Ailani. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's my daughter. That's that's my daughter's name. Wait, wait. Say it in the mic. Say it in the mic. Say it again. That's my daughter's name. My daughter's name is Ailani. She was tripping on that. <laughs> there's not many Ailanis around. Yeah. What made not. you? That, that's interesting. That's good timing. What yeah. made you yeah, decide? Because you know, congrats on being a, a father. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. What made you decide that name? Well, I love Hawaii. Yeah. And I love. I spent a lot of time in Hawaii. Yeah. And my uh my my wife wanted to name our kid like some Russian name, and I was like, nah. is she Russian? Yeah, okay, I'm always Russian. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, uh, I'm not sure about that. And then mm -hmm. she, and I was like, how about like some androgynous name like Jesse or something? She's like, that's stupid as fuck. <laughs> and then and then uh, she suggested Ilani. I was like, yeah, yeah. That, what does that mean? And she said she said it means a uh, high chief. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. You didn't know your name. Really? Sunshine. Oh shit! No wonder if he's my my daughter is like smiling all the time. So she, but she's also a chief, I guess too. Yeah, now. you're also high chief. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how did I mean? Was she? How long? Uh, are you guys married? Yes. And then how long was she there? Like she supported you out the whole process? Like yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's what's up. Man. Yeah, she was she was pretty dope about it. Yeah, she's pretty yeah. chill. Cause you know I'm I'm thinking a lot of a lot uh, would be you know they'd be, mm -hmm. you yeah know? yeah she's pretty chill. That's why I married her. Yeah, yeah, she's dope. And then like were you um and then like your parents were cool with her like they they liked her right away. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents are pretty like chill and open. Um, my dad was just like, just don't have a baby for like five years, because uh. <laughs> We're not sure about you. <laughs> You're doing. I've been. I, I watch your Insta videos yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, Do you uh, just learn as you go? Because I could see you're having fun with it. You're like you're picking her up. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, with the baby. So you just you just learn it like every day's new. Okay. Dude, I just I just listen to my wife. She How does she me. know though? She didn't know shit either. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, like, I've always wondered that. Like, how do you how do you learn how to do this dude, stuff? I don't know, man. Like, yeah. The, as long as they're fed and sleep, you're good. In the beginning, yeah, I think you're good, and then you learn as you go. How old is she now? Uh, six months. Is that Cassie? Is Cassie older? Mm. Yeah. So she is eating real food now. Not yet. She oh. can start. She can like eat like fruit and stuff like that, but like not like you know red meat. Or like amazing, dude! Amazing. Yeah, yeah let's go. I didn't mean to. You know, that's no, that's no, not no. personal. You yeah. didn't have to talk about that. No, but thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Um, what, dude? What are some of your inspirations? Like, as far as your projects are, like, what, what do you like? Where do you get your inspiration? Like, do you like? Is it other movies? Is it music? Is it like art? Or oh, everything, man. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to get like all artsy fartsy or philosophical, shit, but, yeah. Yeah, but you know, I, I like hearing that though. I really? Just, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. Like for example, like uh, you know, I, I went to Amsterdam and I, I went to the Van Gogh Museum, and I was like, you know, you start to read all the little placards and mm -hmm. shit, and then, you know, what I didn't know was, you know, there's all these self portraits of Van Gogh, mm -hmm. and I was like, why the fuck is he only drawing, you know, himself? And well, I, he, that's the, he cut off his ear. Yeah, 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 yeah. but I I found out that back then, that's the only way you made money is like doing portraits of people. So he would just practice drawing himself, and oh, wow. he was like, he was He's like staring in the mirror. Yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. was like, you know, he like just like how you know for us we we're like we got to do some artistic stuff, but like do stuff that we don't want to do mm -hmm. to get some money to survive. Mm -hmm. That's his way of like, was his way of making the money. And then, you know, the stuff that he wanted to do, no one gave a shit about. Until after he died. Yeah, exactly. But it's just like the artist's journey, the artist's yeah, struggle, you know, yeah. it's always like. But that's yeah. good though, man. It's good. And it may, because it yeah. brings out the good stuff. Exactly. Like, everything's, if everything's given to you, it doesn't. Yeah. Like the good stuff. Yeah. Like struggles behind it. Yeah. And, um, right, George? I don't know. Jaden Smith does some pretty good stuff, but yeah, mostly. Oh my God. We need to pause after that <laughs> one. I was okay. I was cool. George? <laughs> George? <laughs> 
Let's go back. <laughs> Man, because, dude, people are going to watch us and watch Gook. And watch, uh, what's the other thing you're working on right now? So I'm working on a few things. But uh, I just wrapped a film called Miss Purple. Um, cool. And you direct, you direct? Wrote and directed it. That's the way uh, to do yeah, it. Yeah, man. You let's know? get into that after. Let's talk yeah. about the project and then let's talk about that mindset. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. No, so, no, yeah. It's, so what's it about? It's about, um, <laughs> you know, uh, like those, the the Korean karaoke's where girls go and like accompany guys and shit. Like uh, the Tomies where you where you. She pimp. was just talking about that. Yeah. So it's about, yeah. about a girl who does that, but like she does that because her dad is like terminal. He's going to die. So he's just waiting. She needs she's, to make some answers. Yeah, she's just money. waiting, but mm-hmm. like she needs to still pay for a nurse and the nurse quits at the beginning of the movie. So she has like an estranged brother and she's trying to convince him to come watch their dad. And he's like, fuck no. And, uh, but finally they, he does come and help. And then they just kind of talk about like what's going to happen at like, do they need to stay in each other's lives after their dad dad dies, or wow. or like the good times that they had? Yeah, and it's just kind yeah. of like it's a slower movie than Gook, but but it's a much more like introspective and and um, you know Gook, you know it was about brothers, but I think there was a lot of like father son themes. Oh yeah, for sure. And yeah. like it was a lot of um, you know like toxic masculinity and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is more like strictly like more about siblings oh. and like is it is it an Asian cast? Yeah. Yeah, oh. the brothers are brother and sister or Asian. Wow, um, how'd you cast that? How'd you find them? So the guy, the brother, um, yeah. there's this other filmmaker, really talented indie filmmaker named Andron. He did a film called Spa Night, and I I emailed him and I said, Hey, listen, who who uh, who would you have cast? Like, who did you want to cast, but you it just wasn't right for the role? And he sent me like a list of few people, mm-hmm. and this kid was just like really interesting to watch. Mm-hmm. And then the girl, uh, I just, we just did like a bunch of casting calls and through friends or like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, managers and stuff. And she's a girl that came in and, and, um, yeah, that's how we found her. And, uh, you know, and then I wrote a role for a Mexican dude named Octavio. Cool. So there's yeah, some, I'm repping up. in this film. I'm repping yeah. in this film. Dude, yeah. Mexico's doing good in the world cup, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> I give you props. They're doing good. They got a good team. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. go. But um yeah and then uh but uh it's like um it's like a really like LA kind of K Town story. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, you know wow. like that's the way to do it though. Yeah, like that's man. inspiring, man. Because yeah. cause, like uh, cause you know my brother he's on he's on a TV show, yeah, yeah. but it's like I I know it, you know he probably would want to write his own stuff, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. 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 Because it's like no one's gonna write exactly what you want to do, right? You're gonna have to cater. Never. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you like have that mindset to flip it and go? You know what? I'm gonna write my own stuff. Well, you know, I mean, just like your brother, like I've been acting for a while now, and I'm just like the same shit just keeps coming up, and it just keeps being like the same sort of roles and like. After a while, you just get sick of playing in a box. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I was like, uh, I could just do it myself. Right. And then, how do you, how does one get funding? Like, uh-huh. it's it's one thing to write about. How do you get the funding and the crew? Like, how how does that all work? Um, so a lot of the crew to start off with, I had. I had worked with it some capacity as an actor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like, it's always like, oh, that's cool. You it's always yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's always like, um, Hey, remember you said you'd help me when I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> like it might, when I make my thing, Yeah, uh, a bunch of people like that. And then for the funding, it's been like, um, for Gook was just like a lot of friends and family. Oh, wow. Um, you know, as far as funding it and stuff. Yeah. <gasps> friends and family. And then it was like, um, you know, a few like friends who are doing really well um, because we took it around like to actual like production companies and their suggestions were fucking stupid. Like what were some of the suggestions? Like that, like in between. Why are you laughing at all the, the dark stuff, man? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah, just kidding. I'm messing with that. Um, like, <laughs> oh, we, yeah. have to ble- we have to bleep that out, Chris. Uh, yeah. Note that. But they, yeah. you know, one suggestion they had was like, they, we need a more famous people in it. And I said, no, you don't. Yeah. I was like, uh, well, it's kind of part of the charm is like, you don't know any of these people. And they said, well, can't, and then there's other suggestion was, can, um, can there be like a, a white police officer that comes, uh, when the rights like start getting crazy mm-hmm. and tell everyone to leave. 
-hmm. And I'm like, no, man, no one gives a fuck about these people. They're in the hood. Like mm-hmm. the the cops all bounced when yeah. shit started going really crazy. They they during the riots. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, bounced. Yeah, yeah, they just yeah. like perimeter, like put a perimeter around, uh, you know, South Central, all those areas, so it wouldn't spread to like the Palisades or Beverly Hills or mm-hmm, Santa mm-hmm. Monica. Like, but they just let that shit burn, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, that's not realistic, but they that's like a stupid suggestion. Um, you know, they had a lot of like, you know, I don't know no, you're good, you're good. But um, yeah, they had just had a lot of fucking uh, suggest like asks that I was just like, no, nah, I'm not willing to compromise on that. So when that's the case, I have to get the money myself. Oh wow! So once you complete the the project and it's all edited and everything, how do you do? You, do you pitch it to festival? Like, how does that work? Do you try to get into a festival? Um. So yeah, like my goal was to go to Sundance. Yeah. And um. So <laughs> once I finished, like I, I just submitted, submitted to, to all the festival to Sundance first. Okay. Cause that is that the, that's a premier one, right? In, in North America mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or in the U S mm-hmm. you know, um, yeah, that's like the, the marquee festival. I think, I yeah, think, I mean, yeah, people yeah. have different opinions, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. for me, I think it's marquee. So you submitted gook. Yeah. Submitted gook. Uh huh. And then how long does it take for them to respond? Like what's the criteria? And everything? We submitted in September mm-hmm. and we found out like right around, uh, Thanksgiving. They're like, good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. And I was like, yeah, I was dude. That super, must have been a good day. Oh dude. Yeah, I was so yeah. stoked. Like I was on the way. I, I was like on like a health kick. So I was like working out yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, pretty consistently. And I was mm-hmm. like about to go in the gym and I got the call and they're like, you got in. And I just sat in my car for a second. I was like, what the fuck? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't work out. And I think I got really fucking drunk. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. What is it? Well, why? Why? Because you got a lot because, of pressure? Oh, because I just uh, wanted to celebrate. Oh, okay. Own. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. And then, so like, what? So once you get accepted, do they? How many people do they fly out there? Nobody. You have to fly yourself. You do. You have to put yourself up, fly yourself out. Yeah. It's a constant grind, man. Just tired. Yeah, yeah. It's tired. Okay, so you get there. Are you uh, by yourself? Do you fly? Or no. So you know, we did a Kickstarter, and we raised, oh. you know, we raised some money for post production, and mm-hmm. what we had left over, we got a cabin, and anybody who worked on the film was allowed to come. So how many people came out? Dude, a lot. <laughs> like our a lot of the crew. So it was like there was like nowhere to even like s- step because so p- everyone was like sleeping bags on the ground. Yeah. Oh. Um. But it was fun. Yeah. It was a celebration. Yeah. yeah. So how does okay? What's the purpose of getting into a festival? I don't think people really realize it's, what that is. It's like this. First, it's just a celebration of mm-hmm. film, and it's acceptance, like acceptance, and then it's also your film. Mm-hmm. it's also the festival's way of curating films that they mm-hmm. feel like. Should have, yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. should have a platform. Yeah. You know, and uh should be, you know, they curate them and then, you know, it's also like whatever is going on in the world at that time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so um that's one purpose. Another purpose is like uh for distributors to come and see the films and possibly acquire them, buy them. Oh, that's cool. That's the best um, that's yeah. the best yeah. situation, right? For you. Yeah. It's like a market, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, a lot of it's for like publicity for, for, for film, uh, yeah. yeah, for pos for, for films to really get some exposure. Yeah. And so what happened? What's, uh, how many viewings do they, do they view, view your film? The we did, week? I think we did three or four, three or four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they really supported us. They gave us like a good time slot and like mm-hmm. a good theater. Um, we got some good, really good write-ups. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then after, after the festival, we we sold the film to uh, Sammy Goldwyn, oh, so that was sick. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and I was able to get like all our friends and family their money back, <laughs> which was yeah, important that's for me. Cool, yeah. Dude, yeah. Well, that that must be a sense of relief. Yeah, you know? it was. It was. It was really like. Yeah. Um, I felt really, really proud to be able to like get their money back with a little bit extra. God, it's hard work, dude. Good it's for hard, you, dude. man. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Let's break down the like. Because that's the end result, like getting yeah. in the festival. How long does it does it take to actually complete something like what you have done several times? I mean, if you go through like the proper channels and do it the right <sighs> way through production company, all this stuff, like the minimum mm-hmm. is like three years. If you do it like, but if you do it quickly, that's why I do it on my own, man, because I yeah. can I can move fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's like my benefit. Like, yeah, I won't have like the 
the same resources in terms of like camera and all that mm-hmm. shit. But where do you get your camera? Yeah, I didn't rent- ask you that. Yeah, we do all the we do rentals for everything. Okay, um, through homies and, mm-hmm. and there's like rental you get houses. deals and stuff. The homie yeah, deal, do we? Discounts? Yeah, we definitely we we're constantly yeah, yeah, begging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, what about um, locate? How do you find the locations? How do you get the crane? How do you get um, all that? So, uh, most of the locations we steal. Uh, we just oh. go and shoot, but uh, but certain just stuff, gorilla stuff, yeah, but certain stuff like the the shoe store, we had to get that location. We mm-hmm. had to dress it. Mm-hmm. We had to. It was very to, believable. Yeah, yeah. We had to dress it and everything, but um, babe, we're talking about Google. I mean, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, she got emotional, right? <laughs> what was you. your what was the scene? What was your favorite scene? When they were like oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude, that was just yeah. ooh icing. Yeah, ooh. I yeah. know you missed the part where yeah. he scouted her out at a uh, like yeah. a youth center and everything. Yeah. yeah, he discovered her. I found her. I found her in South Central. Yeah, I know. Yeah, dude, I know. You use her for another thing. I know. Dude. We're trying to because she's it only out. gonna get better. I yeah, think. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. figure it out. All right, man. Are we how we do? We're doing good on time. Yeah. How how are we looking, Chris? We're at uh, a little over forty minutes. Okay, let's keep going, man. Yeah, that means yeah, it's cool. Sweet. So I asked about fatherhood. Um, I asked about the screen. Um, what do you have outside out outside interests other than filmmaking and like uh, what, what are some other things you enjoy doing besides uh. You know, I like to chill. I like to. Uh, I you like play to. Video games? No. Not really. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I I surf. You do? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Where do you go? Um, Where do you usually go out? Uh, I'm from Orange County, so I mm-hmm. I usually go to like, uh, 56th Street or mm-hmm. like um, you know, River Jetty. Are there, do you have experience like localized breaks? Uh, cause me and my brother in San Diego, dude, we almost got our butts kicked. Really? Like, yeah. Wind and sea. We went out there with our boogie boards <laughs> and the guy rolls up, the dude rolls up. He must have been, he was on something. Yeah. He was, and he literally did. Oh shit. Oh, you know, yeah. Get the hell out of here. Really? Yeah, we're like, whoa. And then my, my brother grabbed, we had like this, uh, he had this, <laughs> like this hammer thing or like, uh, you know, one of those, uh, like, it was like a tool. <laughs> But it gets gnarly. It's on. Yeah. It's territorial, dude. Yeah, but I would say like, like no, we did. We got out of the water, and my dad had um a Toyota um van, uh-huh. but there was no seats in it uh-huh. because he used it to lug his clothes for oh, his yeah, yeah, for yeah. his clothing yeah. store. Yeah. So we were like getting out of our wetsuits, and the dude like he he rolls up on us. Ah. Uh, he goes, "What the hell are you doing here? You're not allowed." You know. He was oh my just, god, that's crazy. Yeah. But I, the, I, the reason why I ask because you know I don't know how. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty chill in Orange County. Like, I think it's more localized if you go up to like Malibu or something. Or Malibu. Or, yeah, I heard. I hear that some people are fucking dicks over there. Um, but not like down there, you know, even down San Clemente or something like they're, yeah. they're pretty chill. What do you think the psychology is like? What's behind that? Because we went to, uh, me and my girl went to uh, Lake Gregory and Lake Arrowhead. We snuck in and swam in the lake Yeah, and it, dude, people are losing their mind. They're like, they, oh, we heard dogs coming after us. Like, go get him. And are it's you like, you know, I'm serious, right, babe? Yeah, we were, um, we were night swimming. Yeah, we do. We we snuck in, bro. We cool. met a kid at the the crappy lake. Uh-huh. We're like, is this the only lake around? They go, oh no, there's another lake down the road, but you need a there's a security code. And we're like, all right. He's like, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> and so we went at now. We did like a we had a mission. We did but a what mission. was a, what's why can't you swim and swim in the lake? Because people, what? It's a private. It's a private, private it's a private lake. But how did they know you guys were there? The dogs knew, dude. They probably start barking and shit. Yeah. Because they can smell. And we heard a lady in the distance, like her energy. What is it? Go get her! You know? And she like was half naked running away from me. <laughs> she was straight half naked. I was still in the water. Yeah, yeah. She's like running and I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> but Maya, going back to, there's a weird psychology. It's like ownership. I understand they, yeah. they pay for the property, but the the beach should be for no, everyone. No, it should right? be for the everybody. Should yeah, be for everyone. it's mother. As nature. long as you you respect people, you know. As long as like, but, yeah, yeah, respect you respect like you know, the locals are like you know to have etiquette, you know, mm-hmm. and like don't just try to take every wave and drop <laughs> drop in mm-hmm. on people. I think it should be for there everyone. There are rules. There are rules, but that's just so like there's some some order. Yeah. You know? 
What um, are some rules? So the person closest to, to the, the peak, to the peak, yeah, has has right away right, the right of yeah, and then you know, there, yeah. if the the waves peeling both ways, you know, it's you could go right or yeah, left, yeah, you know. But if like you're down the break, you're down the you know mm-hmm. break a little bit, and you fucking drop in, yeah, that's kind of a dick move, you know. So have you experienced anyone getting mad at you in the water? Dude, there's been times where sometimes you make a mistake and just by accident. Yeah, by accident. Did and guy, then, like give you a hard time. People have. Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, not to this to the point where they were like racist or like trying to I was fight gonna me. that was my next yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. But I've seen it. I've seen I've where? seen I've uh, seen Asian dude? Uh dude, so like Brazilians get pretty gnarly. Brazilians oh, get gnarly, dude. They come and they just take over. Really? They take over the brakes, but you they're good surfers. You don't want to mess with Brazilians, dude. They'll fuck, fuck they're you up. Jiu-jitsu, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. They'll yeah, fuck yeah. you up. <laughs> they'll fuck dude, you they'll up. Get you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like in a triangle. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would yeah. not. I would just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so um, we'll go back to Brazil. So they. No, so I've seen like um, you know, they come and they want to, they they want to surf and stuff, but like they come in like a like a group and they just take over the break. And they're all buff, I bet. Yeah, and then people get like, yeah. And then sometimes there's like people get gnarly. People start like yelling. And I'm like, I, I, dude, I don't want surfing to be stressful. So no, but it can get violent. Yeah. Like so I've heard of stories where they'll go, they'll smash the windows at your car. Yeah. I've seen fights your... on the beach. Yeah. It's pretty funny it's, when people fight kinda, on the beach. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I know. You guys, it's kind of a guilty yeah, pleasure. Because, because, I like seeing yeah. stuff like that. I like seeing stuff like that. Too. Yeah. Is yeah. it wrong? Yeah. No, it's like world star. Like I on think, the beach. yeah, I think it's like yeah. natural. But like, I think like when you see people start arguing yeah. in the water, like, what are they gonna do? They could try to drown each other. But like, you're not gonna kill somebody, you know? Dude, it's surfing. <laughs> surfing. Dude, so then they go on the so beach. Yeah, I just don't understand yeah. the um, <laughs> entitlement thing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Now, if the dude lives there. Let's yeah. say the dude lives there and that's his backyard. And that's I his understand like, that. and it's private property, then I get it. Yeah. But most beaches are like not private property. You yeah. know? So you should be able to go there. It yeah. should be for everybody. Like how'd you I, get yeah, how'd you get into surf? Like what made you want to surf? Just I don't know, it's always <laughs> I, I grew up in Orange County, so it's always mm-hmm. been right there in my backyard. Mm-hmm. But I think um it's relaxing, man. Yeah. When you get on the water Spiritual and like, too, yeah, yeah, and you just don't, you can't really think about anything else. Yeah. You don't it's have your phone. It's a good workout too. You're it's constantly good, yeah. like duck diving. Duck diving, paddling, constantly yeah, paddling. Yeah, yeah. And like, I like, you know, going out with, you know, somebody I'm close with and then just, yeah, just chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And waiting for the set. But like, you're just like. Getting some tacos after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, that's a good, because I'm trying to figure out, yeah, well, what, you know. Yeah, but you like skate. Go, yeah, I skate, but I yeah. did surf in Hawaii. Okay. And it was during the Pipeline Classic. Oh. The waves. But dude. you didn't go out. The, no, the, I went in the kitty section. Yeah, yeah. So there's the, um, play, it's the, um, it was like watching North Shore. Remember yeah. that movie North Shore? Yeah, and It's yeah. like watching a movie, and I'm like, it, you could feel the power. Mm-hmm. And then I was at um, shout out to Pat and the Ruka, you know the Ruka. Surf, they uh-huh. they have a surf house on the be- the yeah. beach, and so but there's a couple of dudes there. Like I'm like wanting to at least I didn't want to obviously I didn't want to die. Yeah, but I'm like I would like to learn. So like they had a rack of surfboards, and um, they're like. Um, they, they ironically, I learned on a long board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, hey, get the big one. Yeah, yeah. So I went to the kitty section and I didn't go down the line, mm-hmm. but I actually stood up like for a couple seconds. Yeah. Like I stood up and it was the best. It was like, yeah. I felt like I was on a cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was great. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So you could go down the line and. Yeah, I could do it. But I'm not like, I'm not like pro. Mm-hmm. I can't like do But crazy. you could car, you could go down. A little bit, yeah. I can't, I can't do like crazy cutbacks or like bottom mm-hmm. turns or anything. But like, you know, I, I can ride the line and like, you know, go up and down the wave, mm-hmm. like pump on the wave. Yeah. But like, I couldn't like do an air or anything. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. A, Dude, even th- like a. There's guys that get gnarly. I know. Like, yeah. I know. Do you like, so you like, you like living out here with your like. Yeah, we live up? in North Hollywood. Okay, you like it out there? Yeah, it's chill. Mm-hmm. Um, Would you ever consider moving somewhere else just to you know raise your family? Or yeah, probably back to to Orange County. Orange County. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would live in Hawaii. I was just gonna ask yeah, you that too. I love yeah, Hawaii. Man. Yeah, like Maui. Yeah, or, yeah or, or just just Oahu, man. Because yeah. Oahu, at least like you got all the nice. The good the like food, food yeah. yeah. And then, but then if you just drive real like real poke bowls, yeah, real yeah. poke bowls. Yeah. But um, you just drive an hour and it's like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you know I love it. And there. you could still get your uh, writing done, and you might. Oh, that'd be dope. You yeah, might, you might come up with something different. Your yeah. your mind 
It will yeah. probably be more relaxed out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Have you mind. talked to your wife about that possibly in the like, future? Dude, future? she hates it. She hates oh, she it. She hates Hawaii. Yeah. Dude, so I, 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 you want me to tell you like <laughs> a- you hate it? You want me to tell you a really gnarly story? Yeah, yeah. It's kind that. of a downer. We love stories on the Stevie Weeby show. It's kind, of, it's kind of a downer though. It's okay. Okay. So I was, I, I was editing a, a film and I had shot in Hawaii. So I shot a movie in Hawaii before. Where? What island? On Oahu. Okay. And, and- I had left to do some other stuff and I came back to finish editing. And then, you know, uh, at the time, me and my wife, Sasha, we weren't married yet. So we were just engaged and she, it was, she was, we were coming into the US. It was her first time. We had met in Hong Kong, right? Oh, she's from Russia? She's from Russia. Oh, I didn't know that. From St. Petersburg, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, you, oh, for, you know, speaking of, the, speaking of the World Cup, yeah. I'm going to Russia on Wednesday, dude. To St. Peter's, yeah, I'm going to Russia on Wednesday to St. Petersburg because my my wife's side of the family wants to spend some time with our baby. So I just happened to be going during World Cup. You got to go to a match, dude. I'm not really that much of a soccer fan. Yeah, but dude, it's the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Because Russia, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Did Russia make Russia made it out their group stage? They they made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that yeah. You know, you know what else is crazy? Yeah, yeah. I just happened to be in Korea during the 2002 World Cup too. Dude, that was so, nuts, dude. So I keep ending we up. We made it to like the quarters of the semis. Yeah, I just keep. Wants you to love soccer. I guess because I keep ending up at the World Cup and yeah. not not on purpose. But yeah. um, to yeah, I know. But uh, yeah. So we were in Hawaii, mm-hmm. and you know, I was editing, and I felt really bad because uh, you know, I wasn't really spending time like hanging out with her, and mm-hmm. but because I was trying to work, and then. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of friends that live there and I have a buddy that, well, that in grew, Hawaii? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I have a buddy who I've known since we were like kids. Uh and he's from Fountain Valley mm-hmm. and he was out there and two of his buddies came out for a wedding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then um they asked, you know, Sasha if she wanted to go uh, snorkeling with them. I was like, "Yeah, you should go, you know, Dude, because the best." Yeah, you should go because and uh, you know, I got to work anyways and and uh you know, she wanted to go, right? Yeah, she wanted to yeah, go. Of course. And then, but this is what happened: is they they went, and I fucking didn't pick up my phone in time, and I picked up the phone forty minutes late, and I called them. I was like, "Hey, you got?" It? And they're like, "Dude, I'm sorry, man. We we waited for you for like fifteen minutes, but we left." Um, and I was like, "All right, man. Next time, you know, she's just gonna hang with me." Then I didn't hear from him for like a few days, and I was like, "Yo, bro, like, where you at?" I left him a few voicemails, and then finally calls him back. He's like, "Bro, you don't even know what fucking happened." The Your t- girl was still with them? No, so my girl didn't end up going because I didn't pick up the phone. Oh, okay, okay. And he's like, bro, dude, uh, yeah, the last few days have been really crazy. I'm like, why? What the fuck happened? And he's like, the two guys I took out, they both drowned and died. Yeah. And my my girl was supposed to go with them. And had I and I didn't pick up the phone, dude, because I I missed the call. So every time we think about Hawaii, she thinks that she could have gone, and she oh, definitely it's superstitions. Yeah, yeah, and then, Fear, then yeah. but then but the thing is, they went to a beach. They went to Kahala, yeah, and that beach is really calm, dude. And I don't know what happened, but like that day, it just ended up being like a like you know strong tide, and they mm-hmm. just you know if you if you know like when you get caught in a riptide, you just have to let it take you out and then you go swim parallel to shore. Jeez, yeah. But they were trying to fight it or whatever. And my friend kept saying, dude, just relax, lay on your back and breathe. But like both of them like drowned, dude. The waves, there were waves coming. In. Yeah. They were trying to kept swimming just straight oh, out. And man, then they were in the impact zone yeah. and then they didn't know what to do. But <sighs> dude, my, it's going to be, that's a heavy thing, man. Super heavy. Too, super. It's going to take, it might take maybe even there therapy or, yeah yeah some, you know, something because like that. that's a major yeah. fear you know? yeah but you know my friend like he, i feel more bad for him of course dude because you know he has like you know survivor's remorse <sighs> yeah, and all that. It's just yeah. like, but um wow it, that's the reason why she you know but we want to go out there, yeah, yeah but we've talked about it a few times and she's starting to open up to it um, you know what all it will take is mm-hmm. a positive experience yes yes so if you go yeah. there just on some recreational just yeah. like no we're just gonna sightsee no yeah. we're not gonna go in the water and you know yeah. you go hiking instead yeah, or something yeah, yeah. you yeah. know right george yeah. yeah maybe go to a waterfall or something yeah and then once she has that positive experience she'll be like oh hawaii yeah. is a bomb yeah I yeah, love yeah. Hawaii. yeah 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 
<laughs> some some uh some um like I'm gonna, jello i'm just gonna pretend i never heard <laughs> i just hit that last 20 seconds i'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> Lord, I just need to say a prayer. Yeah. Oh, please get me through this. <laughs> I love this guy. He's good. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, man. I think Hawaii. It would be good, man. I yeah. think it would be positive. I would love to live there. Especially your daughters would love it, dude. Yeah. Don't you think? Do you like it here? We are just complain. She was just complaining, um, because uh, because you're originally from San Diego, dude. Why would you leave San Diego, man? Well, this is my story. You know, I told you my parents had a clothing yeah. store. Yeah. And. Uh, well, my uncle, it's my um, my emo, mm-hmm. you know, my emo's husband. Mm-hmm. He, he he burnt my father like oh shit. He was a piece of you know yeah you know yeah. He he uh basically sold us a house that we grew up with like from like whatever from elementary school to my senior year. Yeah, but, dude, it was like haunted. You know? Yeah, it was like built on some burial ground. Oh shit! And on top of that, like he was the type of dude that like he would go. You know, he would sell you his kage, you know, hey, yeah. you want to buy my store? And then, like, we'd buy it. My my dad and my um, my dad's brother would buy it, and then he would set up shop across the street. What? And, like, you know, to, to put it out of business. Yeah. Like, that kind of snake rat. That's and, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, so, like, they, they, they got burned a few times. Money was tight. They couldn't pay for the house anymore. And so, my dad just started. He was always, like, a traveler. He'd always scout out new areas. Yeah. Fresno, Riverside, wherever, you yeah. know. Just a new market. And yeah. so, he started going out to Arizona. Mm-hmm. Because uh, San Diego is nice. Yeah. And um, uh, I ended up finishing... Um, you know, high school there, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I'm like, oh, I'll apply. They go, you should apply to Arizona State. Yeah. And so once I got accepted, they, uh-huh. they, he was already out there living out of a, like a, like a, like a little, like a place like this, mm-hmm. like, a, like a studio apartment. Yeah. With like a hot plate on the, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's why. But yeah, you asked the reason why, oh, is it because why, why LA, like LA, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just desensitized to it now. Yeah, why, yeah. Why, yeah. Okay, so I got a degree. I forgot what it was on, you know. I got I was there for like six, seven years, uh-huh. you know, because I was not sober, right, uh-huh. in college. And my parents were like, what are you going to do now? Yeah. So I didn't want to be just out there living at home. Mm-hmm. My brother was out here um, in Silver Lake. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And I go, well, I'm just going to roll with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been out here for a minute now. Oh. That was 2000, 2001. Damn. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 2001. That's yeah. like almost. I started acting in two thousand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I started yeah. just. I just started acting in two thousand. Yeah. So. Did I ask you? Okay. As far as your training, did you go to a, like a school or? So you know, I went to undergrad at SC. I went to USC for business. She went to SC too, dude. Sweet, sweet. What's you went up? To USC, dude? Yeah, I went to SC for business, and then um, I did an internship in Silicon Valley uh, after my freshman year. And I, right away, I was like, <laughs> fuck this. There's no way I could be in an office for the rest of my life. Um, so I I went to school for another year. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to enroll in like a two-year acting program outside of school mm-hmm. and finish out like SC. Mm-hmm. Um, you live on my, campus? Uh, freshman year, I lived uh, on those on-campus apartments, McClintock. Yeah, and then after freshman year, I was like, "Fuck this, dude!" Uh, I just went to their campus like a week and a half ago. Like, that place is weird. Yeah, dude. yeah. It's so a weird, weird, yeah, like, weird thing. Man. Yeah. So I just basically just finished it out, and and um, I went, I, you know, I I went to like a two year program for acting, and yeah, and that's when I just started. Um, that's what's up. Yeah, I just started acting. Yeah. And then did you start directly doing theatrical stuff? Did you or did you like get into commercials first? Oh uh, yeah, I did commercials first. Did, like what kind of? Oh my god! I did one. Dude. I got one uh, sour yeah. starburst. Back. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. But that was that was grueling. Yeah, yeah That's yeah. why I respect what you guys do. Yeah. Just like the letdown, dude. Stuff. So I mean, this is a good story yeah. because it it all ties into like why I I make my own shit. But mm-hmm. but uh, I want to hear some. Of, yeah, you got some stories. I got one good. Mm-hmm. I got so like I did these um. This the series of T-Mobile commercials. Oh, you got those? Yeah, I got one that's like uh, it was like was it a campaign? It was a campaign. It was like four commercials, right? You made, you made yeah, it was good money. But I fucked myself. Let me tell you how I but fucked you made myself. Some good money. It dude. made some good money. It made some good money. You, you don't have to say. You tell me after. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but a couple yeah. G's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk. Okay. But like the audition was for like this Poser Mobile Posse. Mm-hmm. 
And I fucking went in there and I put on a fake accent, like a fake Asian accent. I did it to myself. Is that what they wanted? No, I did it to myself, oh, dude. That's what I'm saying. It that was, was fucking a choice, an acting choice. Stupid, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I got the fucking job and then I'm on set and I'm like. What kind of, what kind of accent? It was like, it was like, um. He was like, Puzzle Mobile say, yeah, a prepaying minute. I was doing some stupid fucked up shit, right? And then, oh, and then uh, at lunchtime, I was like, damn, I fucking sold myself. Like, why did I do it to myself? Yeah, they didn't even yeah, ask me to do yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. I wanted the job that bad. Yeah, yeah. So I was at fucking How many callbacks was that? Just, just uh, one you did audition. It one time? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I got it. You yeah, the yeah, yeah. And then, and then wow. uh, and then um, and then I was like really not feeling good at lunch, and then like this black dude was sitting across from me. He's like, "Hey, why the long face?" And I'm like, "Man, I think I fucked up. I, f- damn, like I put on this accent, and and I know I shouldn't." Was he have. extra on set? No, he was like a grip or something. Oh, he right? was a grip. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was you. I would just explain to him why I felt really bad, and he just looked at me. He's just like, "Now you know. Don't do it again. Like yeah. you, you learned. Don't do it yeah, again." Yeah. And it was like a good lesson because after that, I never ever did another racist. Acting well. Yeah. Stereotypical thing. Yeah, I never even, I wouldn't even audition for him yeah, because. Did they air the commercial a lot? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> I got you fucked up. made yeah. some royalties. I did. I, and I made some blood so money, man. Mailbox I money made some right fucking there, racist dude. fucking. So. Some fucking. So you made the day pay. I made the day pay with you that. You made day pay. That's a couple G's. Yeah, yeah. I made the but day pay. But then every and time the they air it. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it was a campaign? Yes. I made some good money on that, but it was all like guilt money. But I still, okay. I still, I, mean, I still enjoy. So they had, they made four, four commercials. Four. Yeah. You were like, oh my oh, God. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I had to do it again, but I needed the money. And also like, you know, as an Asian actor, like it's so hard to get roles. Yeah. So. But, but the commercial thing, you weren't satisfied doing that, right? Because you no. want to do real acting stuff. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So that was just like. What? But you booked some other ones though, right? I want to hear about some of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Too, like, yeah. um. Oh, one of my first acting roles was um, in this horror film really? with uh, with a bunch of soap stars. <laughs> oh, really? Dude, that shit was fucking shitty. Okay. Yeah. Um, I so did, that was a movie? Yeah, it was a movie. Okay. I did... Um, I did a lot of stupid stuff. Um, but, it, but it was work, though, yeah. Yeah, time, yeah, cause, yeah. Because you know, people don't realize it's hard to out here. Because you, yeah. you guys don't have a quote-unquote like standard day where you yeah. clock in, clock out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And auditions don't count as work day. That's no, like you yeah. actually getting in a car, taking the bus yeah. or public transportation. You do it for audition, free. Yeah. And hoping that you get the job to work again. Yeah, And finally yeah. get paid. But yeah, it was... Uh, you know, like, but I definitely, you know, I did a lot of extra work to get my SAG card. You did? I did tons of extra work. You did extra work? I did like extra work for like a year and a half. Wow. To get my SAG card. So you got up at like five in the morning and went to the thing. And get treated like shit. Yeah. Like get treated like cattle and shit. Yeah. So you, yeah. Wait, you, you paid Dude, dues, I, I paid my dues. You paid yeah, your dues. I climbed the ladder like. Like the real, like half on the bottom. Yeah. Like half rung to half rung. Like it's mm-hmm. just, Yeah. Sure. Now, would you be open to you know? Because like Netflix is pop, net, Netflix is popping off now. Yeah. Would you be open to like tr- a go- transitioning into something like that where you could write your own? Yeah, like it's like series, but it's like Netflix. Picture, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but you know, like, yeah, I'm trying to like try to find a balance. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to find balance. I was just. You know, I was just on a, a show for a, your brother's show's on ABC, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's called Splitting Up Together. Yeah. So check that out, everybody, yeah, check, on check ABC that out. Monday night. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, check that out. Tuesday nights at nine p.m. Yep. At Tuesday 9 PM. nights yeah. at nine p.m. Mm-hmm. But I was just on a show for ABC, and it only won thirteen episodes, and it got canceled. But, but um, you know, I got to balance it. So that was like a really good money gig. You know, mm-hmm. that's really good to pay mm-hmm. the bills. Mm-hmm. I'm um, also I had the baby on the way, so I was like, I can stack a little bit of yeah, money, yeah. but um, but uh, you know, and then developing stuff, it just takes more time, and yeah, it takes yeah. a lot more. Of, wow, you know. you've been through it, man. Yeah. You've been through it. Okay, so like, we're good. We're good on time still, yeah, or past an hour? Yeah, past an hour. Yeah. Okay, dude. Sweet. Hour, dude. Sweet. Um, for the aspiring people watching this, uh-huh. and they've seen your movies, like, what are the top three, um, 
tips or pointers that you want to give the uh, the people out there who want to do what you do that to make it to your level? I think one is get training. So uh, do take the craft seriously. Get to take the craft seriously. Mm-hmm. To um, study the greats. So, like, if you were going to become, like, a baseball player, mm-hmm. you would learn all the greats that came before mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. and you'd know all their batting averages and RBIs and all that shit. Study. Yeah, study. Like, watch you know, their movies. Watch, watch, watch a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the third- Give somebody, give, give three examples of that. Like, uh, I, if you're- if Tom you're, Hardy? Yeah, but go back. Go back oh, even go more. Back. Like, oh, go like, Marlon Brando? Like, yeah, Brando, Newman, Jack Lemon, you know. Oh, all those, Lemon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lemon, Oranges, all the, yeah. those fuckers. And, uh, um, yeah. Glenn Gary, Glenn. Yeah, Glenn, yeah, Glenn, Glenn Gary, Gary, Gary yeah. yeah, yeah. But all the greats, you mm-hmm. know, I think. And then, yeah, but you can also see how, like, the style of acting, like, starts to change as mm-hmm, time goes mm-hmm. on. And uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that's really important. And then mm-hmm. also, it's like. The third one, yeah. The yeah, third, third one. one is like, what is your strength? And use what do you, it, what man. Do you mean, what do you mean by so, that? So, like, some people think, like, they go, oh, like, they only want to see me for comedy, blah, blah, blah. Like, then fucking do it. Like, I think the job of, of the actor is to showcase what you're really good at, mm-hmm. get really well known for it. And then it's your job to be such a good actor that you can break that mold later, mm-hmm. you know, to show them different. But, like, if no one even knows you exist, you're not going to even have any platform. Right. You know, so, like, utilize what you're great at so and understand where you fit in in the industry. So, like... You know, if you're not, if you're a really good looking guy or whatever, then know that like it's that's not just a look. So yeah, it? but if yeah. you know that that's your your asset, oh, use that. Oh, but if you, but how do you use like you can't control how you look? Exactly. So yeah, if, you, yeah. if you don't look like that, then you can't. You got you got to look at yourself and be like, what? So I am a funny guy, or you can be I the am, character guy. Yeah, a character yeah, guy, yeah. or or what specifically makes me really. Uh, castable. Yeah. The word yeah. where it's like, oh, they can only cast me for this because I do it the best, right? Right, right. But utilize that, uh, you know, utilize that, that uh, you know, specific, you know, magic about you. Don't don't mm-hmm. shy away. Because I feel a lot of people, they go, oh, but I don't want to be known as that or I don't, I don't want to get typecast at that. Well, dude, like, if no, you, you have to like get in front of people first and then like change. Like, for example, like you see somebody like, um, Greg Kinnear, remember? He was like the talk soup guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. like people were just like, oh, this guy is just a funny dude and he's not like really a, right. you know, and then it became like just, now he only does mostly drama, you know? But, yeah. or like um, Steve Carell, remember? He just yeah. only did funny stuff yeah, and then now yeah. he does a lot of drama and funny stuff. Dude, but he like, did yeah. a dope wrestling movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Foxcatcher. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good movie, Yeah, dude. it was great. Yeah. 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 Now, um, any recommend recommendations as far as uh, like what what um as far as the stuff you mentioned what are just name three films that like you enjoyed watching that inspired you um as far as the stuff um i about. like clint eastwood's uh, a perfect world <laughs> okay i don't think i've seen that one it's yeah. uh kevin costner like is a jailbird mm-hmm. and like kidnaps this like kid mm-hmm. and but forms like a father-son relationship mm-hmm. with him and I watched it at camp, like when I was like eleven. Mm-hmm. I started crying, and everybody called me a pussy. Um, <laughs> well, it moved you. The performance. it moved me, yeah. and like, I, but like thinking as an adult, that was really powerful. That like a movie for adults can spoke to me as a like a kid. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I understood the themes, and it made mm-hmm. me feel something. Um, I love that movie. Um, let me think. Uh, are you talking about for acting or just film in general? Well, yeah, just stick with the acting thing. Is yeah, acting? Because I was talking, um, I was asking you specific. Um, let me think. Um, I don't know. I thought, I thought you were going to say like Apocalypse Now or No, yeah, like those that. are all great movies, but yeah. they're, that's not like movies I can watch like over and over, over and over. What about There Will Be Blood? Yeah, I love that movie, yeah. but I can't watch that shit over and over. Okay. Um, George, you got any? Uh, no, I always said Apocalypse Now. You got the- Dude, you know what movie I saw? Seven, yeah. seven times in the theater in junior high, fucking Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yes. Seven times in the theater, and there was only one other kid from my junior high that would be there every time. His name was Ashley, and I'd look at him and be like, "Yeah, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Is that the movie you've seen the most times? Uh, no. Uh, fucking in college, we uh we watched the Big Lebowski probably like every other day. Wow. We would get yeah. we would get really high or yeah. wasted and yeah. yeah. Watch it so many fucking times. Oh, Raising Arizona was good. Yeah, 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 Raising yeah, Arizona. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's nuts yeah. in that movie. Yeah. Oh, George, I'll give. 
you could ask him three questions that I didn't cover. So say, why don't you ask Justin three, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna plug all your stuff. Sweet. Talk about how you met David so in the first place. Yeah, how'd you meet David? Yeah, I met him through uh, some friends uh, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. that um uh actually one of them uh the one of the first times I met him was with Dan Fisher. Oh, yeah, Dan yeah. Dan and and uh, his buddy Ed. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. So shout out to Dan Fisher. Yeah. Shout out to Fishbowl Studios. Yeah yeah. Oh, but did you know that like Fishbowl uh, helped make Gook? Let, yeah. Let's let's give it more shine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Fishbowl, my my girl works for him. Yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that they got cool tiny operation going. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's how I met uh David, and then um, mm-hmm. then we just see each other around all the time, mm-hmm. and then uh, I, I found he does YouTube, and I was like watch some of his stuff. He, thought it was really funny. He kills it on there. Yeah, yeah. He, he told me at that they had a fishbowl party. I go, I was asking him like how I was asking him. I go, hey, what? Can you have any pointers for me? Yeah. And he goes, oh, I, I don't even post videos on my personal <laughs> channel. And then he just tell me like the Inca. I was like, yeah. what? Yeah, he's, yeah. He <laughs> That's like just a side hustle for yeah, him. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, I got a clothing brand. Yeah, <laughs> I got, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a restaurant. Ice cream and shit. <laughs> he's yeah. got, yeah, ice cream, everything. <laughs> So he's, he's a true a, Korean. He's a businessman. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to David, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is the part where a man, I want to plug everything like your movie, your social media, everything. So how they, how do they get in contact? Like check out your uh, stuff. My, my Instagram <laughs> is just my name, Justin mm-hmm. Chan. My Twitter is the same, Justin Chan. Uh, C-H-O-N. C-H-O-N. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gook is on Netflix right now. Yeah. Um, Watch that. Um, what else? Uh, that's that's about it. Yeah. Now, what what would be the maximum thing? Can they write a good review on? Like, uh, even is it on iTunes too? I think so. Yeah, it's on iTunes. So watch it and give it a five star rating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Five stars. And recomm- thumbs up on Netflix. Thumbs, yeah, thumbs up, up on, Netflix. on Netflix. Recommend the movie to your friend, and you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word of Absolutely. mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. What what else? What about the new one? Did you talk about the new one? Yeah, uh, the we're one. editing it now, um, yeah, and, yeah. and it'll probably go through the festival circuit hopefully next year. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. Those are the the main places to to check out what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I keep that stuff updated. Mm-hmm. I try to. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That but we're that gonna sh- watch the Twilight series yeah. again, right, babe? No, no, don't. Well, what do you mean, uh, don't. don't? Don't. Well, no, we don't. are, dude. We are right. He's a big Twilight. Fan. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But um. But yeah, no, that's that's how you can figure out what we're doing. Yeah, dude, thank you so much. We got a couple other shout outs. Um and I wanna I wanna talk to you after as far as yeah. like um we haven't had a lot of actresses, quote unquote, on here, right, George? Mm. Not yet. Huh? Mm. Not yet. So if you have any recommendations yeah, yeah. like uh, up and coming fem- uh, female okay. yeah, females yeah. coming up in the game or whatever. Sweet. Um so uh shout out to the pa- the new Patreons, uh Jacob y- Young R. Kwok, J.T. Hosak, Sean Bell, Ezekiel, Gumahad. Um, Shout out to the the one guy that bought music this week, Oliver Dansinger. What are you laughing at, George? Oh, I'm working on... You always say it's the one. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I'm working on a new um, music project. Okay, so I'm two songs in. I'm uh, I'm gonna get Mestizo on a song tomorrow, so and I'm I'm producing the whole album. So just give me a while. I'm working on it. It's gonna be available when it's done on StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. If you wanna be a patron, uh, go to Patreon.com/slash StevieWeeby. Yeah, I got I got one. Um, and I'm going to and I'm gonna draw the I have to draw the picture. We might all get checked. There may be available. Might be all booked up again. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that, George. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. You don't have to be a $50. $3 is, uh, is cool. A dollar is fine, just as long as we can continue doing this, you know, because I enjoy doing it and it's finally growing. Right, George? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my Instagram's uh, Instagram, uh, Kwangu, Q-U-A-N-G-O-U, and anything Stevie Weeby related is on there. Uh, we we're on, we are on uh, affiliated with Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Stevie Weeby too, right? And uh, check out the two bunnies, right? We have no little rays tonight, but follow the two bunnies um, on Instagram. My girl's animation uh, Instagram too with the 
uh, B U N N I E Z, right, babe? Okay. And, and go to, if you want to get your vinyl and the gear, go to turntablelab.com. For 10% off? For 10% off. Um, slash Stevie with the B E E at the end, not Stevie with the, it's not a, with the V, it's with the B, okay? Um, and get all your turntables and vinyl needs at Turntable Lab, okay? Do you have fun? You have fun? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I'm stoked you came on, dude. I really, I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you're making you. the Asian community proud. And I like that you're doing Asian projects, man. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? Keep that going. Babe, do you want some? Do you, did you want to ask Justin something since uh, before? Thank you. <laughs> Go see Gook. Okay, with that being said. Yeah, dude. Yeah.